a few brief words. I want to welcome you here today, and I want to thank uh, the immigrant advocacy group and organization that invited me and gave me this greatest honor of leading the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to welcome you from those that were born here to those that have come here. We will continue to work together. And despite what you might hear, don't believe it. We are the greatest nation in the world, and we will continue to be the greatest nation of the world. And that will happen if we stand together and we hold hands and we work to continue to be inclusive, diverse, strong, and the kind of community that we all want to live in. We all have come here for the same reason. This is a very important day, and I want to thank you so much, and I want to continue to work with all of you so all of our voices will be heard. Thank you very much. So let me say that few topics are as important, as compelling, <laughs> or as inspiring as the integration of immigrants and refugees into American life. The immigrant story is deeply rooted in the American story. We are a nation of immigrants, and that has made us the most dynamic, creative, strongest, and freest country in the world. And we must never forget that. Everyone in this room, I know, understands that the idea of a commonwealth, like Massachusetts, is about being together, working together, the recognition that we are all in this together. You no, know, not everyone agrees with all of us in this room. It's not an easy time, is it, to be an immigrant or a refugee in America. And people like Donald Trump and other extremists, yes, extremists, want to close off America to immigrants and refugees. What does that say? When they threaten to deport people, to build walls, to stop travel, to literally break up and break apart families, what does that say? That's not my idea of America, that's not your idea of America, and that's certainly not what America is about, is it? Right. For centuries, a sign, a place of hope, of possibility, of promise, a state that has seen immigrants and refugees flourish in so many, many wonderful ways, building and knitting the fabric of this great state and indeed this great country. This is what today is about. It's about recommitting to those ideals, those of us in government committing to those ideals and committing to fighting for those ideals day in and day out. Because we need immigrants to come to Massachusetts, to go to school, to work, to raise their families. My goal for Massachusetts is to be the most welcoming community because that is how we stay the strongest, the freest, the most vibrant community, the most diverse, the, the richest in culture, and I'll say it again, the strongest economy. And the job of us in government and those of us who serve the people is to actually remember that we're here to serve the people and that means caring about the people, all people here in this state. And I know that there is such commitment across this room as I look out at elected officials who have for decades been fighting for equality and opportunity, standing up for this very community. 